everybody, this is Nia Boaz Feiler. How are you? I'm here with the astrological message for the week between April 25th and May 2nd, 2020. So, I'm dying for this COVID-19 to be over. How about you? Um, definitely ready for spring and summer in the wilderness or in nature somewhere and I need to go out at night and I need to sit in a cafe and do nothing you know I just need to be out and I know this is moving away but I'm patient there's a lot of energy in the sky over the last two weeks and this week as well and there's a conjunction between Vesta, the goddess of the sacred fire, Hygieia, the goddess of amendment in a sense. Amendment towards something that is more healthy, healthier and, 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 and more hygienic, you know, more corrected in a sense, more filed down and, and adjusted finely, you know, tuned. And Venus, the goddess of relationships, both with matter, our bodies, our senses, and our other people. And of course, the physical plane, Earth. All of these are conjuncting Gemini, trining Mars in Aquarius. This is a time of a lot of energy and a lot of need for variety and going forward and, and, and cutting through the new. And it requires us, you know, it requires us or it, 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 it pleads us to be dedicated towards healing our relationship with the world, with earth, with people, with ourselves, with our senses, with money, with matter, and take our world forward. That air Aquarian influence is our world if it would be a Piscean influence it would be the world <laughs> so taking being dedicated to healing our relationships and taking this world forward fearlessly bringing our light forward understanding that this is what would do the difference in the end of the day be the critical mass needed at the end of the day your effort you know, your effort would be the critical mass needed at the end of the day to making to, to make this world a little less dystopic and a little more utopic. Isn't that magnificent? That you have that power and responsibility, like my dear Stanley, late Stanley, God bless his soul. With great power there needs to come great responsibility. So, this is part of what's happening, but the story over this week is Mercury. We begin this week with a square on the 26th Sunday between Mercury and Jupiter. And a day later, Mercury is heading into Taurus and then squaring Saturn. And by the end of this week, it's conjunct Uranus. And next week, it's going towards a superior conjunction with the Sun. And that's like a full moon for a Mercury cycle. That's an amazing time for deals. That's an amazing time to update your system and take it forward and upgrade the way you think and the way that thought and that uh, 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 information or the way you perceive the big picture and process it affects your navigation and interaction and commerce with others and your environment through life. But when it does that Jupiter and then square to Saturn, it's not a recommended time for taking things forward. It's not a recommended time to sign deals or talk about your feelings or talk at all. <laughs> it's more of a time that we could say too much and then be sorry for it. <laughs> say too much with a square to Jupiter and then be sorry for it with a square to Saturn two days later 
It's about understanding that we want to take things forward. But before that increase, before that release, before that um, widening can occur, we need to rethink it and make sure that it is ripe, that it is done properly, that it is in line and in accordance with the laws and regulations of this society. And we can see many businesses, and Mercury is about business, facing these exact attitudes and problems. We want to open our stores. We want to open the department stores. We want to get on with this. The economy is suffering. People are losing their jobs. But we need to abide through new laws and regulations. There needs to be a heat camera measuring your body heat as you enter the store and we need to install it and we need to make sure it runs there needs to be an application measuring the people coming into the stores you know not too many people in the store and so on and so forth but we could see it in our own lives now that we're getting back into routine slowly are we going to let this be the old world all over again our old world all over again or maybe even a more fearful and this topic world or are we going to fight to create a better more empathic sympathetic warm hearted world for all of us as mercury steps into Taurus for the next two two for the next three and a half weeks we're going to actually experience a much, much slower pace a pace that is concerned with satisfaction and value and enjoying life and that's a good thing um, Tuesday the 28th is a sensitive day as moon would square Chiron be aware of that Wednesday, and I'm talking Eastern European time, if you are over in the Pacific in Australia, take it nine hours forward. If you are on the eastern coast of the United States, take it nine hours before what I'm stating. So, um, Wednesday the 29th, be aware of your emotional drama. This is a time to be more constipate, constipated with your emotions and step away from your emotions and actually reflect on them rather than being led by them however it's a wonderful day for creativity and intimacy the 30th is a sensitive day in a sense that we could get offended or judge others over matters of honor and ego and we need to be careful it is a good time again for creativity Friday the 1st is a very special day. It's the day that Mercury is conjunct Uranus exactly and the moon is on the royal star of Regulus. If there's a time through the year that we are called to update and upgrade our internal software, our operating system, the way we think and the way we navigate and the way we commerce with this world, it's now. It's about understanding that we need to learn new things, that we need to update, <laughs> that we need to walk to where we never, or navigate to where we navig never navigated before. We need to make business in ways we never made business before. It gives a push also to anything technological, social, uh, 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 um, social media or internet related and things like that. These are already better days for taking anything you need business-wise forward. And next week is even better. Um, be aware Friday night, evening, from aggression and just be more careful on the roads and when cutting your salads because the moon would be opposing Mars at that time. When the moon is on Regulus, though, being the heart of the line, this is a time that you know majestic and things that have a sense of royalty and nobility and 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 majesty to them can appear 
or or mature in our emotional system in our personal lives this is a wonderful time to rekindle the flame of intimacy or love in your life as well with family um saturday looks like a cute day nothing special to say about it um just don't be too judgmental on sunday the third um wonderful day for communication and good day for business even though it's a sunday um evening onwards be careful from um all kinds of stresses within relationships um don't be angry with yourself if you're too forgetful or lethargic and that's about it i want to remind you that in a week a week and a half my prices will probably grow back up and you won't be able to enjoy any more than 40% off on all readings and courses. So if you want to study with me or if you need a reading, this is the time to contact me. All my details are at the end of the slide, on the slide at the end. And I want to thank you for sharing these videos and commenting on them. I love you all. Remember to be fearless. Remember that it is up to you to recreate this critical mass needed in order to shift this world, your world, to a better place, a more advanced place, and in a more emancipated place with more freedom for everyone, a more tolerant universe in which uh, diversity is seen as richness and uniformity is seen as dangerous. So, may we all spread the light, live long, and prosper. Bye-bye.